Hello everybody, welcome to Hitman Codename 47, the finale. We're going through the set up, the uh, penultimate level. I never noticed you uh, put the name as George with a J. It's, it's a good one. Yeah, I was, I was like, I was surprised you didn't catch it on the very first time that I put it. Oh, I guess I'm blind. Anyway, so there's a setup going on here. The, the level's I'm called allegedly... setup. So what we find out is that the last four hits you've been assigned to do actually came from one person. The guy who <clears throat> set you up for all this. Yeah. So now uh, the agency's like, uh, you know, the agency accepted another request from them, and they want this guy dead. And the request is to kill the guy. So we're going to go yeah. kill the guy. Supposedly it's Dr. this Kovac. Not the Kovac from uh, How to Survive. That guy was a dick. <clears throat> or the Kovacs from uh, Watchmen. Oh, well, I don't know about that. Well, Kovacs is Rorschach's real name. Walter Kovacs. I assume Spelled the you... same way. I don't know how you get how they get these surveillance footages. Do they have drones? That's awfully advanced. I, I guess. Yeah. So we can't go into here with any weapons at all. Not unless mm. you cheated, of course. Oh, it's the Hitman logo. Yes. Everything comes full circle. We're back at the asylum. Kind of like, um... You know, it's funny, because in Sanitarium, we were in an asylum, too. So it kind of connects. Yeah, it looks... You know, it looks <clears throat> cool. I'll give you that. The symbol looks cool, but... you think it'd be to your disadvantage as, as like, a top-secret, stealthy hitman to, you know, put a distinctive symbol on everything you have. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Like, somebody could see the suitcase that you use for a sniper rifle and be like, That's the hitman symbol! And Someone's gonna die. Yeah, they can catch you. So it'd be better just have it unmarked. The agency no, still uses the hit, still uses the hitman symbol. So I don't know what's up with that. Hi, I have an appointment with Doctor Kovacs. My name is Tobias Reaper. Mm, let me check. Oh, are these the same orderlies that were like wielding AK-47s previously? AK-47, shotgun, sure, and stun guns. The door to your right, and then go straight through the. Oh wait, that was you holding a AK-47, and yes. the guy just didn't care. Yes. Why is this the setup of this? Like, this makes no sense. He should be in a cage, and he should control a door on the other side of the cage. It doesn't lead inside the cage. That makes no sense for security purposes. Well, they gotta have that suspense and stuff. So I tried looking around, like, where am I supposed to go? And this guy calls the director. Mr. Or the Reaper professor that I'm here. Perfect. I'll make sure it's make sure properly taken care of. I'm Count Dracula. I'm from Transylvania. So this Mr. Kovacs doesn't actually exist. <laughs> he does. It's just not who we're actually supposed to be uh, finding or killing. We have just received a visitor in the complex, and he's going totally berserk. He's beyond Bad our it. control. Berserk. Okay, or berserk. Hopefully it's not as bad as the current Berserk anime. Oh. <laughs> Never read that. Or watched it. Well, the current anime is, is true. This room looks Good. very weird to me. It doesn't seem well, very asylum-like. Like. I like how there's patients frolicking there. Like, Naturally, it would be to their advantage to release them. Because you showed up. Of course. So I'm like, where's the room? Ah, here's Dr. Kovac. Let's talk Hello, to him. Hello, and welcome to you, Mr. Reaper. How may I assist you? That depends. Are you the only Dr. Kovacs here? Yes, I am. Hey, I recognize <laughs> you. You were the one with a needle. And what shot me in my no-no place! Involved in the experiments. It was Professor Ortmeier who was in charge. Yes, yes, he's the one to blame, not me. But you still stuck a needle into me. Oh, here comes the SWAT team. So I guess there yeah, was well, a SWAT team. he was only team. following orders, you know. Yeah. But still. This one of those forced combat sections. Fortunately, no. It's not Columbia. Oh, so you're just gonna leave that guy alive? I I was I forgot to get the syringe to like pump him full of heroin so he would die. Because huh. the syringe was actually in this room in this little medic kit. Does no. it have heroin in it? No, but it sounds funny if it did. There goes the SWAT team. I see. So I clearly fucked this up. Oh, because I. I it's really hard to go through this level with the SWAT team going around. You can kill them all, but, uh... You would need to be almost a god. Well, not really. You so... So are you going to complete the contract that Ortmeier gave you? Or are you just going to kill Ortmeier now that you know that he was involved? Yes. We're going to kill Ortmeier. 
And there's the there's the best what shot the in hell? there. He just did. He just looks a completely different direction. The uh, the SWAT team. Yeah. I just, why would you look at the wall when you come in? Because he's a well-trained professional. Don't question it. <laughs> Great. Hello and welcome to Mr. Fuck Reaper. you. Okay, that's oh. completely not good animation. <laughs> it, it Do they really not know what Kovacs looks like to the point where they would recognize that you're not him? They, they were not briefed. They were not briefed on it or anything like that. Great. So I speed up this video because, well, eventually, because like I get real lost because the area you need to be in is kind of well hidden off. No, don't shoot me. I am Dr. Why Kovac. do they let the patients out? You'd think they would get in the way of the SWAT team, wouldn't they? Yeah. I'm surprised. Yeah, so. Oh, so there is the CIA guy is here? Yes, he's in here. Why? The agency sent him in because it was like, uh, because uh, they didn't want Hitman 47 to be here. Because, uh. They Why does the agency keep employing this guy? I don't know. He's failed like so many times. He's useless. So there's the roof, and then there's the attic where it's filled with guns. Yeah, this looks like a very complicated level. It's not, but it's deceptively complicated. Right. Because the area I need to what be- What does that really mean when you- uh, that's, a, that's a big phrase whenever you, whenever you say deceptively complicated, because it, it could either look simple and be complicated, or it could be or it could look complicated and be simple. It looks complicated and convenient, and it's actually yeah. simple. That's just, I, a weird, it's just a weird phrase, because it means, like, two opposite things. I, I know what you mean, like, it's not clear, like, it's just like, are you saying one or the other? Yeah. No, there's an Uzi in this lab, grab it. Yeah, that's, uh... Yeah, it's one of those phrases where it's like, uh, you know, when you ask me a, a yes or no question, and I say no, but then I said, no, I agree with you, and it's like, well, what the fuck? Yeah. So, we're looking for Dr. Ortmeier. No, we're looking for the, uh, for the, for the CIA guy. Oh, yeah. Because we gotta rescue him. But I didn't realize he's in, I didn't realize he's in the West Wing. Because I thought, like, like, these rooms would lead to that area, but no, the, the West Wing is, like, its own area. So I'm just like, fuck, where is it? Where well, is it? bigger and better things, you know, starring in popular TV dramas. Uh, who? Why, is there a teddy bear in that? Yes. For the, or, for the, uh... The, uh, insane people. I don't know. I would think you'd want to like, I don't know, not indulge them, but whatever. Oh, because it actually comes into play as I uh, discovered through doing my lost run. I actually had to look up a guy. That's how bad this got. I don't even remember how I found it the first time. <laughs> well, it's a good thing that being insane doesn't make you like want to kill people. It just makes you want to dance around. I'll check it. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Yes, absolutely. So this guy tells me about, uh... If you find him the teddy bear, he tells you where the weapons are, which doesn't even matter, because I already found it through just, like, plain old exploration. Yeah. Okay. So if we find him the book, he'll tell us where all the, uh, the dope is. Oh my goodness. He says he'll show it on the map, but I don't see it. Like, when I looked at my map, I thought he was gonna lead me and I get, like, trolled by this guy. So you have to know where the dope is? No. It, it was just like, a it's to kill people, Wolf. Okay. But it's not important. So he gets trapped there. I thought he was leading me somewhere. He's just like, oh, I forgot. He's just chimping out over there. And I was like, fuck. Why did I, why, why was I dumb enough to trust a fucking insane guy? Yeah, it'd be nice if he just didn't give you anything, even if you would give it to him. Because I thought maybe in that video game wise, he w it would have been like, uh, he would open up to me. <laughs> My god, this does take a long time. Yeah, so this is the attic. I don't know, this attic looks very disconnected from, like, the, the uh, asylum. Like, what the fuck? And there's a gun here? Yeah, it's very... I don't know, it doesn't look as neat as everything else. Yeah, it looks like... In fact, this, this whole place looks more like it was a, a mansion once, and it was converted into some kind of asylum. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, but doesn't it look like we just jumped into a different level? And, like, if you just looked away, it'd be like, wait, what? Did we skip well, I guess the idea is they remodeled some of the house. Yes. To be, be an asylum, but not the rest of it. 
Yeah, that would probably make sense. But, you know, it's, it's still kind of weird. People are just disappearing and reappearing, and I just don't get it. Just so you're actually taking the teddy bear to this guy, even though he's leading you to something you've already been. Go a different guy and see if, uh, what he'll say. Like, he, like I was thinking maybe one of these insane guys would be like, Oh, hey, another visitor. Just like that CIA guy. Yeah. And then maybe that guy will lead me to the right wing. So I was like, oh, let, let's give it a try and, like, explore. That central room, by the way, that does not belong in any kind of... It, it looks like some hostel-like room. Yeah. Or a room you'd see in hostel. A really terrible horror movie. Yes. Well, this is an asylum, so... Yeah, that's not what Hostel was. At least I don't think so. It's been a while since I've seen that movie. I never saw it. Yes, 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 mystery man. I, I saw the first one. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Where mystery man find weapons can. Let me show you where to find the weapons you already found. Oh, weapons, huh? Let's see. Where did he mark the weapons? Don't see it, fuck you. Yeah. Continuing to get lost. Ugh. I could easily just fade to like where I found it, but then you wouldn't quite feel my frustration with this. And well, it wouldn't be quite as disorienting to me. Well, that is true. Um. I know, I know. You mentioned well, this before. At least showing off the level a bit. Yeah, because if I just skipped through it, it'd just be like I, I would have made the game look good. Oh, well, there's nothing necessarily wrong with this, but. It's just getting so lost, and I'm here in the library again. Going to the fountain. So, anything uh, else of interest you might have uh, talk about the Hitman series? Uh, last levels are always a bit of a weird thing. Yeah, so this is Sometimes the only. Sometimes they're like big combat sections, other times oh. they're like stealth. So, did, did you beat the entirety of the other Hitman games? I beat the entirety of Blood Money and Absolution, but not neither of the others, so. No, but I do, I do know for a fact that at the end of Contracts, there's a big, um, big slight. Oh, of course, because, uh, it's a stealth game, right? Yeah, I think you can, like, sneak out of it or, like, run out of it, but it's, uh, difficult to do. Yeah, so the hidden base is actually down in this elevator, but I can't go through it, because I need the CIA guy to trigger it. Hence his, uh, need in this level. Yeah. I mean, Absolution's weird, because I swear, like, it's impossible to get all the things that you're supposed to get, you know, in the same run. Because there's, like, there's hidden evidence and stuff like that that you can get mm -hmm. that uh, is, like, exploration-based, but there's also, like, you know, pick up all the weapons and do all this stuff. But mm -hmm. to do all that and kill nobody and not get detected is, like, next to impossible to do. Or real frustrating. Yeah, it's or it, I mean, it's actually like self contradictory. Like sometimes you have to like knock someone out or kill someone or get detected in order to get something. So you really have to go through multiple times to like unlock all the stuff. Replay Which, value. Yeah, there's no reason to get all the stuff though. Other than none just that I, none that I've found. Other than just for the incentive, but other than that. Well, what incentive? Like to uh, to uh, grab all the stuff and unlock things because people like unlocking stuff. Yeah, for just the sake of it. Yeah, I certainly like a, unlocking stuff. Okay, you've passed this place like five times. Yes. So that pause screen right there, I was like, uh, I was looking up where I'm supposed to go. You go through the fountain, and then you take the left, and then you go up a bunch of stairs. Although I missed the stairs right there, right here. Game didn't freeze, I just had to look around, look at a guide and be like, mm, Okay, not here. It was this. Okay, not that staircase. At the... Let's see where I was supposed to double check. This place I didn't this go staircase? through. Staircase? Okay. Okay, this is the correct staircase. And there okay. is the fucking door that I need to go through. So I look around to see if there, I, there was a way that I could have, like, figured this out without, like, looking through every crook and nanny. There is a CIA guy. Don't hurt me anymore. Don't hurt me anymore Baby, don't hurt sounds me. Weird. Baby, up. don't hurt me. <gasps> Don't hurt me no more. Mind tricks. Yeah, they employ Jedi here. I'm very real. Or Sith lords. What in the world is so. going on here? That guy, that orderly comes by and doesn't like. Isn't like, hey, what are you doing with the patient? Suddenly, I'm surrounded by SWAT teams and nutcases. They drugged me. Please try and find. Uh, you gotta find something else now. Try to find an antidote. 
professor conducted experiments long ago. The By the way, there's a thing that happens if you, uh, you if something happens in the last level and you don't uh, do it right. Look for it. They make it's you restart the entire game. Yeah, 47 human clone. It's a big, big twist. Clone made out of those like several criminal guys that were supposed supposedly they were the pr they were like prime genetic material, just random criminals from around the world. Or parts of them were prime. I must have been a real uh, easy time finding all those right chromosomes. Yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't get like athletes or some or um you know statesmen or like professors or like doctors right now. Nah, nah you just criminals. Just criminals. I guess that works. Well, they're kind of fit to a certain degree. Here. Suppose the, the one guy was supposedly really strong, which I guess explain why why he like goes through ten dialogue trees before you can actually shoot him, kill him. Well, uh, wasn't that because of the cocaine? Listen, well, I don't know. He was supposed to be like you know strong physically to begin with. Well, the thing is, they were all merciless, so they wanted a merciless uh, hitman. Yeah. Well, it's it's interesting too because whenever he like you know converts to being a Catholic, he you know starts to question what he, what he actually is. You know, he's because he was made by a human in a test tube. Whether he has like a soul and like stuff like that. Why do I exist? What's my purpose in life? Uh yeah. Well, it's a bit more deep than that. Yeah, I know, I know. But uh so this guy's I see is gonna slowly lead you to the elevator where you can go. Yeah, it's cause he just got uh the antidote from me. I really hate that this guy has a you have to just like lug this guy around the whole time. Too bad you can't Can use... the SWAT officers like find you here? Nope. Once you put on the hey. costume and don't do anything suspicious, they will never find you. And they're just going all around. They don't radio in like, hey, uh, yeah. we don't see the crazy. Who are you talking about? Evidently, everything I learned about SWAT from playing SWAT 4 is completely wrong. Like, they, they don't just, like, they don't, like, handcuff everybody and cordon them off and, like, make sure they're not, they don't get in the way. They don't call they don't, in. Uh, yeah, they don't, they don't call in anything. They, they don't, like, radio for backup if they have this massive yeah, this place to, like, lock down. The the they, they just they just wa I'll walk around in circles for, like, 20 minutes. To All right, so the entrance to the to the lab from, like, the first tutorial, from the tutorial level is, like, underneath this, uh, this elevator. Oh. So explain to me how do, how people don't see this normally. Yeah, it's... You, you would just see it every time the elevator came out. Hmm... Nobody will ever see me here. Oh shit! What the heck is that? Frank Horgan from Fallout Two that we just saw in that. In <laughs> like that, the face uh, he was making. Kissing. No, it was like a dude with a minigun there, wasn't it? That was Hitman. With oh. a minigun to hint that there is a minigun in this level, which I found by accident. Huh. Okay. Reaching through the door, I see. It's time to load up because this is another one of those final battle sequences. No stealth or anything. No real stealth, anyways. So you, is your what the hell? Happy Hitman is happy. Oh, this is this is like uh, this is like the Hitman movie. Oh gee, well, cause it's pro it's based on a game, right? Well, not really. But in the Hitman movie, there's like a bunch of other forty sevens around. So this is the battle royale. Well, they did talk about like making more clones, right? In the cutscenes. Here's Daddy. Stop. Fucking hitman! So only is, is there anything even special about this one? Is he just like was he just like the first one? He's just the first one out of the ten that they so, could have sent out against you. So he's not like better than them or anything. He's not like you know. Nope. They're just gonna send them one at a time fighting you. If if, if like uh, if the professor just sent all ten of them after me, I would have had somewhat of a difficult time. They just apparently are brainless. But they're, they're happy. They endowed, our, but they endowed they're ha our hitman with a brain, and that's what makes him better. But uh, they're happy and smiling. Yeah, they're, they're doing a pretty good job here. This does look like it'd be pretty tricky, because they're all, like, circling you and running around. And, yeah, like, that's because I... They run and stuff like that. That's because I wasn't acting fast enough. If you act fast enough, you can actually just bypass uh, this entire fight. Really? Which I uh, was not aware until I looked up a guy. Did I just walk past him? Essentially. I showed in my god run mode. But you can do this without being a, a god. You just gotta be quick. So now we hear this guy talking about him. So this was my initial strategy. Just hide behind this wall and just shoot any hitmen coming after me.
Wartmeyer does not decide who is right, only who is left. Ooh, so you're my father? Hitman, I am. I am your father. No. I don't understand. What do you mean turn? What do you mean you turn? What does he mean that you turned on him? Uh, like, in subordination. He set, you up, he set you up to try and kill you. Wait, what? But Ortmeyer set you up to try and kill you. What else were you supposed to do? Oh, let's see. So he sets you up to kill you, and then all of a sudden you're insubordinating toward him. Yeah, yeah. As, 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 <laughs> this guy makes, that makes no sense. He wants to make sure that you are the best by killing him, but then at the same time, he... Oh, yeah, he, ma he makes no sense, as you'll see at the end. Yeah. I'm getting that. Oh, he wants you, he wants you dead so that he can uh, recreate uh, your DNA cells, and uh, but make it better and more obedient. Is there any reason why you're? Why does he need you if he's already made all these other clones? They're slightly inferior, as you can. But you just see. said they were the same. You I lied did. to me, Wizor. Make up your mind. So we are better than them. They're like second generation. Because we're the players. We have a brain. Yes. Yeah, and they, we don't like keep running into a guy with a minigun over and over again. We, we also not. have the magic quick, quick save key. We also have the... Oh, God damn it! We have the ability to lean over walls and like break the physics of this game. Yeah. Could you imagine leaning out from that angle with a minigun? And like, holding that body, position? Like that, holding it and shooting, yeah. Ah, uh, your back's not gonna live long, but I guess since Hitman's the perfect human being, he has no spine. Yeah, he's got that, um... So after thing from Fallout New Vegas DLC, where he just, like, has his brain, spine, and heart replaced. Oh, jeez, it reminds me of that thing from Batman Beyond where the this one hunter got his spine replaced after he was paralyzed by a panther. Huh. Anyways, yeah, so he shuts up and I speed this up. This is a very boring... Boring, like, fight, like, no. So, you've killed, like, seven so far, I mean, you can't be too much longer. There's only ten of them, so, like, if it was seven as you counted, then there should be three, two more after this. Yeah. Okay. Should, you just, should you just replace his, his uh, spine with, like, a fiber optic cable or something? From Deus Ex? Yeah. Or, do, or Nano Machine's son. Oh, so they're dead, and we need to bring one of their corpses for the security. If I can grab the many piles out from them. This has got to be a glitch, what you've been doing. Yes, it is, because they fixed it in Silent Assassin. I was I was disappointed, but, you know, I, I wouldn't, I'm not blaming the game for it. I just did something completely, like, not intended. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's funny, though. And effective. Very. See, I see you're just pushing your minigun through the wall there. Yes. This guy, I bring a minigun and he thinks he can take me out. Well, if he had a lucky headshot, maybe, but still. Yeah. All them test tubes and such. So I try Is looking that... around just to be like, hey, what's Isn't up? Is that where you got the minigun here? in the first place? Is that the what? Isn't that the closet you got the minigun in the first place? No, that's a different one. So, what do you need this guy's corpse for again? You will see. If you remember in the in the beginning cutscene when they were entering the two entering the area and they got their barcode scanned on the back. Of their oh neck, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't scan, uh, if you don't use their corpse to scan, or if you don't use their corpse uh, or the barcode on the back of their necks, uh, you get killed in in the room because a poison gas comes in. I just like how uh, the best way to mark at highly advanced human clones is to use a like point of sale barcode from like a convenience store. <clears throat> price check, please. Hit yeah, in 48 price, here. Price check on aisle 5. Hold him up to the scanner. Like, this hitman is $2,000. Or 13k. Because we're going to only pay you that much. Is he trying? Oh, he's... Wait, he does if, that? If he stuns you, he sends you back to the beginning of the game and you have to play through the entire game all over again because he wiped out your memory. What? That doesn't make any sense. You have you 
you've already killed all the people he's gonna send you to kill. <laughs> well, apparently all these other people are gonna be clones again. Does this actually send you back to the beginning of the game? Does this look? Does this not look like the beginning of the game? Yeah, but it could just be the same place you were at the beginning of the game. Yeah, so I had to play through the entire game all over again. No, you didn't. <laughs> Would have been terrible if they did do that, though. Oh, so you, you, should you make it the Ortmeyer again? Yes, but this time I just shoot him on spot. Like, like fuck. What I don't understand say. why. I don't understand why Forty Seven will let that happen to him. Like, I, he's got a stun gun. It's not. Oh, speaking not of which, much. if you use a stun gun, it doesn't fucking work. Like, I I used God mode to give or not God mode to give all weapons, and I tried stunning people, but it didn't work. So here's the end scene. You broke my heart. You tried to kill me! Fuck you! I like this part. Holds him. It looks like he's gonna hold him as he dies. And just but nope. Messed him up. I thought I would do something really funny before he kills him. Way to rob this scene of any impact. Eh. I mean, I get it, but it's just like, uh, nope, don't care about this guy. Duh. I rem I remember. Is you he even talking? Or nope. is anything going on right now? No, like nothing. It, never ch it doesn't change camera angle or anything? Nope. <laughs> I remember. Experiments. A montage of what we've seen before. I would have done that, but that would have been, like, way too long. Oh, really? Nope. Yeah, it looks like he's in, like, cradle and he just snaps his neck. And that's the end of the game, as he bleeds enough blood to make the Hitman symbol. What the f- Why are they on different planes? I don't know. It's his death scene. I guess that's why this he's- This game was produced by all employees at I- What? Yes, by all. Not just some or most. Oh, I guess they didn't, like, hire, like, a well, third maybe party. maybe indirectly, but... What's but, the point of saying that? I don't know, because they're being trying to be clever. So, yeah, speaking of that white death scene, I guess that's where Hitman 47 got his, like, white death scene. Yeah. Just a way to make it dramatic, I his, guess. His, his, genetic come, his genetic white death scene comes from that. Yeah. Alright, so... Alright, so what's your... What's your uh... Final verdict on this game because you played it. There are some good moments in this game and some unintentionally funny moments of the game play as with all the glitches and stuff I've seen and and you've seen as well. It could have been better, but it it definitely could have been better. But it's not like the worst I've seen except for Columbia. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Columbia, pretty pretty garbage. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> The most I would say is kind of check it out. I have a little bit of fondness for this game, but I would not really recommend this Hitman game. What yeah, would you say, uh, uh, Hitman? Yeah, it's mechanically very bad from what I've played for it. And, uh, yeah, yeah, not really looking to... I'm not really looking to play this again. I'm glad that you went through this instead of me. because I'm sure you were this... <laughs> very... The Human Twister? It would have taken me a while. Steve Adams was the Human Twister. That explains a few things. Yeah, I guess. I mean, yeah, well, it explains how he mo-capped the, like, guy's arms turning around and all this nonsense. Oh, can you imagine seeing that in person? Yeah. Yeah, so, you were saying? How about the game? Uh, the, the game, uh, I mean, it was as good as a start of the series. I, uh, and it, it led on to bigger and better things. Blood money. Yeah. Uh, blood money, uh, Silent Assassin, was, I thought was pretty good. It's definitely a huge improvement over uh, this not, game. I've not played the whole thing, so I can't really judge it completely. I played most of it. Uh, but, but yeah, this is like it's the first game, and so they tried to incorporate a whole bunch of things, like we said, like action and stealth. Right. Kind of a bit iffy on, bit iffy on both. On the action, yeah. Definitely the action more than the stealth. Yeah. Very much uh, not well designed. <laughs> Definitely had plenty of flaws, but overall it did start a generally pretty hit series. I yeah, think... and uh, the series has its ups and downs after this. W would you say uh, Blood Money was like 
the height of the entire Hitman games and then like a mountain it goes down again? Um, I can't really say because the newest Hitman game released this year I have not played yet at all. And I've, I haven't, I've been purposely avoiding uh, seeing, seeing it, so. It does look like it's a return to form though, because it's like, it's, it doesn't, it has the same stealth mechanics from Blood Money, where you know, you're like, sticking around with disguises and trying not to do anything suspicious while anyone's looking at you. And instead none of, of like that the, absolution? Instead of the absolution system where it's like, you can't, you can't be seen in front of anyone with the same disguise as you. But, what? Well, it's more of a traditional stealth game where you just don't get seen. But there's a little more leeway than like your your Splinter Cell or anything like that. Because I thought Absolution had that instinct thing where you can pretend to be someone else. Yes. You do this. <clears throat> the instinct system is weird. If we ever get to that game, I'll show it. To, I'll show it off. That'll but have it, be it some... works. Works in a very silly way. Well, that'll have to be sometime in the future. But um, hopefully next time you'll be able to do Silent Assassin and we can commentate on that. Yeah, I, I imagine even my terrible computer can. Can run fraps and uh, in that game at the same time, so so uh, stay tuned for more from Wizwar and Hitman. So see ya.